Okay, well, we've covered quite a bit of the basics in this section. The last thing to talk about is how do you shut down the computer when you're ready to go to bed and go on with your life. Well, it's really simple to do. You come down to the bottom left-hand corner, click on the Start button, and choose Turn Off Computer. But when you do that, you're like, whoa, wait a minute. I have a couple of options here. And, of course, the background fades. Nice for you. You have Standby, Turn Off, and Restart. Well, let's take a look at each of these. Standby is kind of interesting. If you were to choose Standby, the computer will freeze in its current state and remain that way even if the power is shut down. So if I were to choose Standby and shut the power off, and I had, say, WordPad open or Internet Explorer, when I turned the computer back on, those programs would launch in their current state, just as I had left them when I chose Standby. Kind of a very cool feature. Turn Off will do just the opposite. It exits every single program, shuts off everything in the computer, even the power, so that when you restart the computer, it's basically fresh again. Everything's been turned off, and you have to start over again. Restart does the very same thing as Turn Off, except that it manually reboots the system. It exits out of all programs, shuts everything down, and then reboots it, either the Windows login screen or right into the desktop like we see here, depending on if you have multiple user accounts set up. So just to reiterate, Standby will freeze everything you've got going on right now the way that it is, even if the power is shut off. And when you turn it back on, it'll magically reappear to the way things were. Turn Off does the opposite. It exits everything, shuts the power off completely. And Restart will exit everything but reboot the system into a uh, fresh session. So that's the difference between Standby, Turn Off, and Restart. Of course, you can cancel at any time and return to the very colorful desktop.